Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the social media sliding icon hover effect using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo, which contains the social icons and whenever we hover over it, a slider slides out containing the text related to the icons. For code, you can visit my CodePen profile. I'll drop the link to the code below this video. Feel free to visit my CodePen profile. CodePen is an online editor, where we can edit our HTML pages and preview the result instantly. We can save our projects in it. And also go through the Dropbox link below this video, where you can download the project folder of this demo. Let's get started with the HTML structure. First, create the wrapper within it. Consider the unordered list with 5 list items. And within each list item, consider the social icon and slider div element with p tag. Here I am going to use the font awesome icons. Font awesome is an open source site for free icons. For using the font awesome icons, first, we need to include the CDN link in the head section of the HTML document. First, open Font Awesome website that navigates to icons, then search for icons whichever you want, including that element into your HTML structure. For the time saving purpose, I had opened the icons whichever I want, before starting this video. Just see how I'm going to include the icons into HTML structure. For this demo, I'm going to use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google and WhatsApp icons. Now set the unique classes for each list item. Here unique classes are used to set the different background colors. Now let's get started with CSS by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Set the background color and Arial font family to the body.
and change the text color to white. Now place the wrapper div element in the center of the browser, by setting its position value to the absolute, which is relative to the body, and set its top and left values to 50%. And we can clearly see that. The wrapper div element is not placed exactly in the center due to negative margins. To remove the negative margin, we can use the translate method of the transform property. Remove the bullets using list style property. Now style the list items, by setting width and height values to 50 pixels, and set the same background color to the list items, which we are going to change in the later of this video. Set the top and bottom margin. Make corners a bit round using border radius property. And set the position value to the relative so that we can place its child elements accordingly. Here the child elements are icons which are relative to the list items. And finally, set the box shadow effect. Now place the icons in the center of the list items, by setting its position value to the absolute which is relative to the list items, and set its top and left values to 50%. And we can clearly see that, the icons are not exactly placed in the center, due to the negative margins. To remove the negative margin, we can use the translate method of the transform property. And increase the font size of the icons. Now by targeting the unique classes, let's change the background color of the list items one by one. Search for social media colors and open any site and copy and paste the social media colors one by one.
style the sliders, by setting absolute position which is relative to the list items. And set 180 pixels of the width and set the background color. Use the left property and place the sliders beside the list items. Set the height and use the text align and line height properties to place the text horizontally and vertically in the center. Use the transition property for smooth transition effect. Style the P tag and use the transition property. Now change the background color of the sliders one by one. Set the opacity of the slider text to zero, and make the slider width to zero. Now whenever we hover the list items, the slider width has to be 180 pixels, and opacity of the text has to be 1. See, here we can notice the mess between the slider and text. So to eliminate this mess, set the transition effects to both sliders and text on hover. Now I'm going to increase the time duration of the text from half a second to one second and here 0.2 seconds is the delay time.
so that the slider comes out first, and next text. Finally set the 0.3 seconds of delay to the slider while sliding back, so that slider comes out first and goes back last.